Hey everyone, welcome to the Apple Dog. I was on a vacation for some time, but now I'm back to the coding, and this is the weekend. It means time for another video. So today we are gonna go through the AppleDeveloper.com and see how we can actually create a developer account for free that can be used inside Xcode to do further development stuff. So let's not waste any time. Let's directly jump to the Apple.com. So guys, I know everybody knows. Still, I'm gonna give you the big glimpse of the WWDC the WWDC 22 is coming into the June that is basically an event by Apple when they showcase the upcoming feature for the developers and also they give a brief highlight about the feature that's gonna be ultimately rolling out to the users in the upcoming months uh, I think you should mark it to your calendar to the Apple's uh, AppleDeveloper.com where you can actually create an account so if you do not have any account, don't worry, you just, you just need to go to the create yours now. You have to fill the, all the information, first name, last name, country, DOB, email, the password. I am from India, that's why it's showing you 9-1. If you are from USA or any other country, then it will show you the country code based on your current location, blah, blah, blah. Once you are done, you just have to tap on continue and then your account will be created. For the demo purpose, I have already set up the account, but I have not done any third kind of agreement acceptance so that I can showcase you how it's done. So again, let's go back. Now I have to fight auth in place so it's, it has sent me an OTP I, that I need to verify I have received it it is 145486 tada we are in basically you should not touch the browser if you are on the public system but as I am using my own personal MacBook Pro I can do that yes we can go and save it to the keychain now this is the fresh account that has been just created couple of hours back so once you have created the account and you are logged into the, your account, the Apple will give you agreement stating that what are the stuff that you should be doing, what are the stuff that you cannot be doing. If you do certain stuff that is not allowed by the country or Apple, then you might you know receive some of the red strikes. But we are not gonna read everything. If you want to read everything, you can do that. So for now, we are just gonna say yes. And uh, I don't want to receive any communication through the latest events because I keep doing that by myself. So I'm going to just tick mark this one and then say submit. Okay, so we are in. This is the developer portal for the pro. Developer portal. It says my email account. This is my email address. I can sign it and I can go to the email setting. Now we can see here, uh, these are the documents in. Oh, these are the documentation for the developers like oh they are just showing us the updates the Xcode cloud is coming up in a couple of months so they are just giving us the heads up these are the updates about the new features the new documentation blah 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 let's go back this is the downloads if you want to download any tool you can go here and you can do that depending on your requirement then we have the forum I can go to the developer forum. This is the basically forum for developers similar to the stake or flow. If you have any query, you can directly go and log it here. Other developers will try to answer if they can. And if you have any query that already someone else has answered, you can directly find it and you can just see what other people are talking about the same topic that interests you. Then we have feedback assistant account and help and they contact us. Let's go back to the welcome. You no, know, it says here download tools. It means you can get started with the Xcode. But again, it is directing us to the same page for the beta software, so that is fine. They are also, you know, <laughs> helping developers to understand how to build their first app. But if you're gonna do that don't go it from here I have already created separate video on creating your first hello world application using Xcode I suggest you to have a look into that then we have the join developer 
program now this is the paid program this is the updates for the program like what you can get so let me tell you this into the pc there are two programs available from apple first one is a developer that costs you 99 dollar per year and second one is an enterprise that costs you almost 299 per year but to get the enterprise account you need to meet with certain criteria so let's not think about that and to get the developers account you don't need to uh, i'm sorry to get enrolled in the developer program which costs you 99 dollar you don't need meet you don't need to meet with the certain criteria but there are certain steps and formalities like you know applying for the uns number just giving the proof of the company registration to the apple if you are registering it on the name of your company so i think that's it your apple account is set up now let's go to the xcode xcode you can go to the xcode then you need to go to the preference and then the accounts there from the preference you can see i have already added my personal account but just to showcase you i'm gonna add another account i'm tapping on the plus i'm like i think yes the apple talks oops it's only apple talks you know the gmail.com there's a bug i made a mistake and it allowed me so my password gonna be i'm gonna tell you that that's the secret one it's not my phone number do not try it so now apple has sent me the otp six zero five eight one seven it will take a moment so now we can see i have already added my uh, the free account and it says the personal team with the user of uh, with the role of user so now i can directly use it and try to install the application from xcode to my phone without going to enroll for the paid program so guys that was it if you find this video interesting feel free to like share and subscribe thank you